everybody and welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. -da 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 -da. I can see we have a bit of a shadow going on. That's just, is that better? Okay, no. Ah, I feel like this is going to drive you, it's going to drive me nuts, so let's just sort this out. Where is the shadow? I'm making it worse. How am I making it worse? Okay. Mm. Is that okay? It's <laughs> marginally. Okay, so it's Monday, it's Monday movie hunting. I'm gonna move in a minute because the shadow's gonna drive me crazy. So don't worry, don't worry. Um, I was gonna film this here because I wanted to film it quickly, which <laughs> I apologize, but I'm excited for today's Monday movie hunt. I'm gonna pick up one movie, so I was like, yeah, I can film this quickly. I've not got a massive amount to say, but it's because I wanted to dye the end of my hair. Uh, and it's already half past seven. Also want to have a takeaway. I mean, it's all kind of crazy on a Monday here. So Monday movie hunting, once I would take it, and I want to dye the end of my hair. So I've decided, this is completely tangent, obviously. We'll get to the Sainsbury's bit in a minute. Um, I wanted it to be blue and purple. Now, you guys, if you watch my channel for a long time, you'll know over a year ago I had the end of my hair blue. But it was, like, bright blue, which I loved. I can only find a dark blue. So I was a little bit disappointed. I mean, I decided it, like, right today, right now. So I decided I wanted to do it right now. It's one of those. So if I would have gone to a proper shop, I could have got the bright blue like before. Um, so I'm a bit worried it's not super blue. It says it's cosmic blue, but it looks kind of black. I'm a little bit, a little bit worried to be honest. But also, just to mix it up, I also want it to be purple. And then, oh, I was gonna go back and get another purple in case I decided to do just purple. Okay, well I didn't do that. I forgot. Um, so I've got purple, which is kind of. I feel like I just want to do purple now. No, no, I want, I want the mix. I'm so confused and conflicted. Should I have gone just purple? Is this purple and blue a good combination? I, yeah, I feel like it is. I actually wanted it to be like a mermaid purple and blue. Obviously, like I say, Sainsbury's had limited options. So this is what I went with. I was kind of glad that they did at least have some form of blue. It says cosmic blue, so we'll see how that goes. So I do want to do that. So... I do also want to film under movie hunting, so that's kind of where I am at with this, at least I can obviously let you guys know what's going on and everything. And yeah, so what we'll do is we'll head over to the small stage view clip, then we'll talk about what I picked up, then we'll talk about the other movie that came out today, then we'll do the spreadsheet, then we'll talk about what I watched in the week, and then it'll be the end. So yeah, let's go! Okay, okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, of course, I picked up Secret Life of Pets 2. This was 3D and the Blu-ray, which is great because it's the, um, like, normal Blu-ray price. So I'm happy about that. I found that some companies do seem to be doing that now, which is really, really cool. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I know uh, nothing about it, obviously, bar the fact that it's a Secret Life of Pets sequel, of which I've seen the first one I think two or three times first time I watched it, I was a little bit disappointed second time I watched it I enjoyed it more um but yeah so Secret Life of Pets 2 I will be watching this definitely within the next couple of weeks it's one that I'm going to be watching uh, pretty much straight away I would say I know I sometimes say that and, and I don't watch them straight away but I feel like that's that's gonna be likely and the other movie that came out today was of course X-Men I think it's called Dark Phoenix I know nothing much about X-Men I never pick up the X-Men movies and I never watch X-Men. I feel like I would like X-Men now that time's gone by. I originally, I think, watched X-Men 2 years ago and I thought, eh, it's okay. I'd quite like to get into the new X-Men, but it's just not something that, I don't know. I have watched Logan, though, of course, which was fantastic. I bet that's different. I feel like it kind of stands on its own. Um, but yeah, so didn't pick up the new X-Men. So if you guessed Secret Life of Pets 2, you guessed correctly. So what we'll do, we'll head over to the spreadsheet, see you guessed correctly. I'm not sure what what Josh is doing in the kitchen, so I might shut the door. Um, and then we'll talk about what I watched in the week and everything. Uh, but yeah, so let's go see who guessed correctly. Okay guys, so this is the spreadsheet and it is now 20 past nine. So I feel like I'm really way behind with editing and uploading this video. But I did dye my hair in between. It didn't go too well, 
but we can talk about that next week. We can see how it goes. I mean, you guys probably don't care, but I like to just update random little, random little life things in between these Monday movie hunts. Considering they're weekly, I find it uh, is kind of interesting. So yeah, that's kind of where that is. Um, oh look, and I'm losing it completely. I put 77 here. It's kind of late. I'm all confused. Right, so we have Sam and Alison who guessed correctly and are on 7. We have Ben who guessed correctly and is on a 6. Mark guessed correctly and is on 23. Spooner Mum guessed correctly and is on fat 2. Gosh, and Paul is on 5 though. Um, VHS DVD Previews Australia guessed correctly as well. And as did Wayne who is on 3. Shuffling down, shuffling down. We have David who guessed correctly on 3. We have Gaz Movies guessed correctly and is on 8. We also have Curiosity Rocks guessed correctly and Ian Low 95 also guessed correctly this week. So those are all the correct guesses. So well done if you guessed correctly. I did do this from my phone, so I'm hoping that's all the comments, but I always let me know if there's any problems and I can kind of retrospectively uh, fix it and things. So do not worry about that. Um but yeah, I think now we'll just head back to the other me. Like I said, I don't want this video to be too long, especially now that I I need to render it and edit it and upload it before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So let's head back to the other me. Okay, so well done if you guessed correctly. That is awesome. Um, now, for the past week, I watched Dumbo, which I really, really enjoyed. I thought it was really, really cute. Really, really fun. Well, it was fun in parts. It was also sad, obviously, in parts. Uh, but Dumbo himself was adorable. Uh, and I really enjoyed it more than I thought that I would. I gave it four and a half stars uh, and I really liked it. I also watched Five Feet Apart, which I liked. I thought it was really sad. Like, I knew it was going to be sad. But, um, I mean, throughout the whole thing, it was sad. I felt, kind of felt on edge as well because it's set in a hospital. And I feel like I've had this before with another movie. And it's not The Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars is sad, but it's not really set. I mean, obviously some of it's in a hospital, but it's not. This is just fully set in a hospital, which I do find always a little bit stressful to watch, I suppose. I'm not sure what that is. That's why I don't watch shows like uh, Grey's Anatomy or any kind of hospital shows. I've never enjoyed watching those. I don't really like things set in hospital. But this is solely set in hospital, and... That was kind of stressful, but the characters were really, really great, and I really liked those. Uh, and I ended up really enjoying it in the end, giving it four stars. Um, at, at one point, I kind of thought, "Oh, I'm not sure if I would maybe kind of be giving it three and a half." But the way that it ended and everything, and everything wrapped up, I was like, "Yeah, you have four. And I probably I would watch it again. Um, I would watch it again, but I wouldn't really watch it again super quick because again, it was sad and it was kind of obviously hospitally. Um, but yeah, so I enjoyed both of those, so I really do need to get through the money movements because I do seem to be continually enjoying them, so it's not, I, I, at the beginning of the year we were off to a bit of a, mm, and then it's really picked up. I feel this video is going to be short, it doesn't, I'm just going on and on. Next week, I've got three down for next week, three, one, is obvious, two, I feel like a little bit more underdogs, um, so I'd be interested to know your thoughts on which three you're going to guess. I hope that you will all guess correctly, because uh, that is always the best. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm sorry that it was short, but next week I'll update you. I, I mean, I feel like there'll be like one person who will care. But anyway, I'll update you on what happened with the hair thing. I'll update you on that, and then you'll all know whether it was really worth a quicker Monday movie hunt or if it just didn't work out at all and it all went terribly wrong. I will let you know. I'll show you next week, next Monday. Uh, but yeah, have a fantastic week. Let me know if you've seen Secret Life of Pets 2 or your thoughts on the X-Men's. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!